going to choose a brown for this one. So that's kind of brown. Maybe turn that up or down. That's, that's pretty good right there. Click OK. Rename that the hair layer. So that's how we would do hair. Now again, I'm bald, so I don't really want hair. I'm going to turn butters back on. And we're going to try to do the body. So what I want you to do now is go to the rectangle tool. Choose the color of your shirt. I'm going to choose black. Now I'm going to make a rectangle exactly like that. If you notice, it's on top of the head. So what we're going to do is drag this down underneath it, the head. And now we're going to we're going to warp this. So to get that, edit, transform path, warp. And you want to follow the same exact sequence that I'm getting ready to do. Move this one right there. Move that circle out a little bit. Move that in. You'll want to move that in. Same thing on this side. And don't forget the bottom. And maybe a little too much. Okay, to get rid of that, you hit enter. So now if I turn off butters. This is what we have so far. We're not going to really mess with this anymore, so let's rasterize it. Right click, rasterize layer. Now we're going to try to do the sleeves. Again, you'll need the rectangle tool. Make a sleeve like that. Just a regular, almost looks like a square. Edit, free transform path. You're going to want to rotate this. And all the way to there. Now I'm going to want to warp it, edit, transform path, warp. Oops, too much. Here we go. Move that up. Kind of move that down. Don't worry about the. Do not worry about the uh, the hand. We'll do the hand next. Okay, so that is pretty close. Go ahead and hit enter. Rasterize that. Now we're going to duplicate this layer. So right click, duplicate layer, click OK, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Use the move tool, hold down the shift key, move it over. It's close enough. Now we're going to merge all three of these. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. They're all selected. Right click. Merge layers. Call this shirt. Now if I turn off butters. There he is right there. Now let's do the hands. So I'm going to turn off the shirt. I'm going to turn off the shirt for now. Go back to the ellipse tool. Go up here to fill, get the color you need, click OK, I'm going to make a circle just like that one. Perfect. Let's go ahead and rasterize it. Now we're going to make, I'm going to zoom in. Notice how pixelated it is. This, what we're doing is very crisp. So I'll get the uh, uh, ellipse tool again. Can make another circle about the size of the thumb right there. Move it in position. Now if you notice there's a black outline around it. That's easily done in blending options. So first let me rasterize it. Because like I said, we're not going to really make it bigger or smaller. Now I'm going to double click on it to bring up the blending options. We go down here to stroke right there just check mark it <laughs> it's already ready to go so check mark stroke click OK now you want to 
merge ellipse 2 with ellipse 1. So hold down control, right click, merge layers. So that's one hand. We want two. So duplicate that layer, click OK, edit, transform, flip horizontal. Let's zoom out. So view, fit on screen. Hold down the shift key, drag it over. Turn on the shirt layer, see what that looks like. You might have to move this one over just there. So there is your hands. We're going to merge those two layers. Rename it hands. Now say you wanted to put, I don't know, the Boise State logo there. Let's go online. Go to Google. Type in Boise State logo. Okay, I want, let's use this one. So open it. I'm just going to right click and copy image. Go back to Photoshop, edit, paste. Where is it? Oh, it's underneath the head. See that? It's underneath the head. Just drag it to the top so you can see it. Move that down here, edit, retransform. Get that to fit right on the shirt. Oops. There we go. You can do this with any logo you want. Let's zoom in a little bit. If you notice, it's kind of pixelated around the edge. So let's go ahead and grab the magic wand tool right there. And select around this. Hold down the shift key to get all the spots we missed. Now, a neat little thing in the selection tool is you can go to select, modify. You can expand that. We're, we're going to expand it by about two. Hit backspace. Select, deselect. A little cleaner. View. Fit on screen. That's how he's got us. He's rocking his Boise State shirt. Now we're going to make the pants. So go back to the rectangle tool. Choose the color of your pants. I'm going to choose, let's choose this blue right here. It's the same blue in Boise State. Click OK. Now just make your pants right like that. Now if you notice, it's on the very top. Let's rasterize this. Call it pink. I'm going to drag this all the way down to the bottom, right ahead of layer 1. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. And we got a little overlap here, so edit, retransform. Hit enter to apply that view fit on screen so we can see what we're doing. I'll take the pants off for just a second. We're going to try the shoes. Uh, go back to the ellipse tool. We need the ellipse tool. If you want black shoes, that's fine. I'm actually going to be really gaudy and select this orange shoe. First, got to go up here. See if I can drop that color. Yep, got it. Okay, now I'm going to make an ellipse almost like that. Move that up. Now, I don't want this bottom. I can't cut this right now because it's not rasterized. It's still in its original shape. But once I rasterize it, I can change it. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to cut this right in half. And hit backspace. Select, deselect. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. This is the other shoe. Move it over. Merge those two layers. Turn the pants back on. Turn butters off. And uh, there's your South Park character. At this point, you can just go to File, Open, and you can add some stuff on them. We could add uh, some dog tags or dumbbell dreads, whatever. But our last part, I'll let you do, you know, kind of experiment with that. Our last part, though, is adding a background. So, and under the South Park stuff, you go to Backgrounds. You're going to find a background you like. I'm going to choose uh, the standard South Park one. Um, this one. Open. All you have to do is look, drag that down, move it in, close this. Alright, to make it bigger, edit, retransform. Now if you notice we cut off his legs, that's an easy fix. Just drag it down here right below the pants and shoes. And there is your South Park layer, or your South Park person. So now you just go to File Open, and uh, you can add other stuff in there and other accessories. So, I uh, wish I had a, where's a football? Do I have a football? Of course not. Oh, here we go. Open up the football. Drag that in. This will probably be uh, your top layer. All the football, edit, transform, smaller, rotate it. Because when people think of Boise State, they think of educational technology. I mean football. <laughs> I'm going to drag this down just a little bit underneath the hands so it's behind the hands. So there's your South Park character and uh, you'll need to save this to your folder. Make sure you labeled all your stuff. Background. Football. File. Save as. Make sure you save it in your folder and then type in your name South Park. Click OK. And that's a wrap.